Say thanks for watching. The news is next on NBC. Now at 11. Five teens accused of vandalizing as many as 60 cars on the shoreline. And a GPS device that fits in the palm of your hand, but it's how people are using it that's raising some questions. And pulling the plug, Circuit City shuts down stores nationwide for good. But first tonight, our top story. Governor Jody Rell is rethinking her proposal to extend drinking hours at the state's casinos. Hi, everybody. I'm Lauren Petty. Her decision comes after a college student was killed by an alleged drunk driver on I-395 in Montville. NBC 30's Diana Perez has the details. Bottom line is, it's up to each individual to not drink and drive. But the folks we spoke to say if leaving the law the way it is and limiting the amount of hours people can drink at a casino saves just one life, well, then it's completely worth it to them. Uh, everyone drinks everything, but it's out of control because everyone knows that drinks are free at the casino. And so it's just going to maybe promote uh, drinking even more. Uh, since it'll be 24 hours a day, it's going to make things worse. Right now, you can only drink until 1 a.m. during the week at casinos. Governor Rell proposed extending it to 24 hours a day all week long. That was until this accident Saturday morning in Mottville. A drunk driver killed 20-year-old Elizabeth Durante, a Connecticut college student headed to Africa. While state police have not confirmed where the driver came from, the accident happened one exit away from Mohegan Sun Casino and minutes from Foxwoods. Something like that is bound to happen again with 24 hour drinking and especially somewhere like a casino where people just get a little out of control. The plan would have raised millions for the casinos, but Ralph says she's thinking about lives with this one and not money. In, in many casinos, the drinks are free, so as long as you're playing, they're going to continue to give you drinks. There's not really going to monitor this situation. Bernard McLaughlin, Connecticut's chairperson for Mothers Against Drunk Driving, says 101 people were killed by drunk drivers in 2007. So he backs Rell's new decision, saying the alternative would have led to even more deaths. I think we would be putting a lot of people on the roads who are intoxicated if we we're going to open up the uh, the law at the casino to allow it through the you know, 24 hours a day. We're told Mothers Against Drunk Driving always reaches out to the victim, and in this case, it's already contacted Connecticut College as well as Elizabeth Durante's family. Diana Perez, NBC 30 News. Five teenagers will be in court tomorrow. They're facing criminal mischief charges in an overnight vandalism spree in West Haven.